Olympics have a new sponsor over concerns about the Zika virus. It's off. Yeah, it's the first time ever a bug spray has partnered with the Olympics. Kind of an odd pairing, right? Bloomberg reports as part of the agreement, the company is going to give thousands of bottles of off to athletes, staff, and volunteers. Wow. i got to be honest, I might need more than a couple of bottles of Deep Woods off to convince me to go to Rio right now. Let me start with this. <laughs> if you had planned on going to Rio, if you maybe had bought tickets, no, I'm not asking if, like, would you go right now, because I think most people would be like, no. But if you were planning on it, if you were into it, would you still go? I would still go. Mike? Okay, if I had been planning on it, yes, I would have. But there's no way I would make that decision to go now. And I it, bet you could get a heck of a deal. You probably Plenty could. Plenty of tickets available. I'm not in a position where I'm ever going to be having children, so the Zika thing doesn't concern me. The thing right. that really bothers me is the disgusting water. If I'm mm. going to Rio, I want to go in the ocean. Well, sure. not only that sure. for the people who are going, it's the people who are going to be participating in the Olympics. Sure. It's disgusting, this bacteria. One of the, the sailors said that his teammates got splashed in the face and had a really serious infection just from the water. Boy, it, uh, to me, this adds a whole new dynamic to the sailing competition in the Olympics. <laughs> it's, it's kind of part oh, Olympic Games, part Hunger Survivor. Games, Survivor. <laughs> Gross. Can you, I mean, you have to earn that gold medal in Rio. Some other Olympics, I mean, big deal. They're handing you, them out. Right. Oh. Salt Lake City, I'm impressed <laughs> with your gold. If you get a gold <laughs> in Rio... Let's spin this around and pick out how this can be a positive. Look, so the way the Olympics are awarded certainly favors uh, cities that, and nations that are developing. Not we're, we're, we're not talking, uh, would you say, second world nations, maybe? Yeah, I think so. A city like Rio, of course, has a lot of tourism. It's sure. a big city, a lot of infrastructure there already. But the Olympics, part of the deal now is trying to boost these cities up. This might be part of what comes part with of the bargain, that, yeah. Right? We saw this in Russia. We saw this to a lesser degree in China. Yeah, and I think that you know we're very quick to jump on you know, the media before is very very negative about countries that maybe aren't as well liked or aren't as well developed. But that is part of you know the Olympic bid. I do think, however, that if you say, okay, we have this Olympic, we're going to have the games here, mm -hmm. you better have that water cleaned up. And you have to do what you say you're going to do before it gets time to the games, or I don't think you should still have them. I mean, I think they're all, I would say they're all trying, right? I think we sure. all agree with that. This is a mm. PR nightmare for them. Yeah. But, I mean, so when do you make that call after they award the games 10 years out? Is it a year out? Nobody can get together. A second city could not get together a, a host True. and host the uh, Olympics. And no one would notice. have projected the economic crisis that's hit Brazil and mm. certainly the political, political crisis yeah. they've yeah. had. And crime you could have guessed. And the water thing was discussed earlier. So, yeah. mm. well, good luck, Rio.